receivers on, we know the receivers fit the tractor, we put the top of the sunshade together and this is the sunshade part of it. This comes on and off. The receivers will always stay on the tractor. Take your front bow, which is two halves, we swedge together. Rear bow is your flat stock. It goes on the inside. This top bow, it sits up the top. It goes on the outside. Best thing to do is just let these lay here. Separate your bolts. Everything, the whole sunshade is put together with quarter by five eighths bolts. Along with this model, you have two quarter by one and a quarter bolts. That's for the legs later. Two quarter by ones, that's for the legs later. Those are last. The whole top assembly is quarter by five, five eighths. So you take one quarter by five eighths, slip in the top bow, you slip it in the front of the front bow, add a nut. Just keep it loose. Just holding it together. These are locked nuts. They're not the easiest things in the world to work. Do the same thing on the other side. This top bow goes on the outside. Put the bolt through the top bow, through the front bow. And then the rear bow goes on, the flat stock goes on the inside. Nut, hold it together. That's basically that part. Now you just have one more bolt on the rear part to hold everything together. 7 16 inch wrenches and go ahead and tighten it. But these parts have to be level so you might as well just tighten the back first. Just snug up this one because you want to be able to move that when it's all together. This is just snug so you can move it. And same on the other side. All level, all tight. Now, rear post. These are the same, left or right, makes no difference. The brace are flip-flops, as you can see. There's a left side and a right side. First thing you want to do is, is put this on, add the bolt on the bottom. This, this is the inch, yeah. One inch long bolt goes down here. The bottom hole to right next to the square. Uh, all this is is a stop. You're, you're just making a stop with that. We can tighten that later. Same way with this one. One inch bolt on the bottom. Okay. Now you take your another five eighths long quarter inch bolt. And you place it in the rear hole. You just put the nut on there just to hold it in place. Same on the other side. Goes, bolt goes through the post. Then on the outside of the rear bow here, nut in place. You look at this and you go, oh, the brace is on the inside holes. If you notice, there's two sets of holes here. This has to go on the inside. To determine which is left and which is right, I'll just put this up here for now. This is going to go on the rear like such. The flat goes, it goes up and down. So this is the left hand post. If you did the right hand post over here, you're going to say, oops, it bolts up this way and you just tell it won't fall together. Put bolt and nut, just make it loose, enough to hold it. Both these. Better off just letting it down. You insert the quarter, one and a quarter bolt through that. Oh, you need a washer on here. Sorry. Insert the bolt through the washer through the post, then through this brace, put on the nut. Same as the other side. Through a washer, through the post, 
through the bottom of the brace. Now we, that's all the bolts and nuts. We're done with those. So now we tighten everything. And now that it's all assembled, it is easily put onto the unit. To assist on a brand new one, take some bar soap, some just ivory bar soap and put on here. It, it will help you in the long run. Um, once the thing's broken in, it'll slide in and out. It won't need that soap for lubrication, but fresh paint, but once it's on there, it, it's gonna move with you and it's gonna break in and make its own lubrication. So it'll slide in and out. So it fits in the frame just fine. As you can see, it's put together correctly because it's level. We now put on, now it's your choice if you want to use this rear screen or not. Might help, got it right side up. Uh, this thing helps keep the sun off your back. It's also great for deer flies. Deer flies like to come up and just grab your neck and just rip it apart. Deer fly can't get you with these because you can't fly around your head. So it's excellent for that. So we have the rear screen on. Now we put on the top. This is the actual sunshade. This is, yeah. Uh, if it's cool when you're putting this on, it might be a little tight. You put it out in the sun, let that vinyl get a little warm. You stretch it over, and it does stretch. Like I said, right now I think this is a little cool, so it's tight. There we go. It, it's a snug fit, like I said. When it's out in the sun, it's not snug anymore. Put that on there. Put that down. Slip this over. It just fits just fine. You take this rear, or this top bow, and you swing it up right there to the point. And that really keeps it. And then this is when you take your wrenches and you tighten that bolt up that has that top bow together. This is also a good time to go around and check all your bolts to ensure that they are all tight because when the, if one bolt comes loose on this, when you're mowing, one bolt comes loose, if you notice it's flopping around a little bit, check your bolts because once it's loose, it's gonna beat itself to death and parts are gonna break. And you'll be sorry you didn't keep them tight because when you're mowing, it's rough. This is some top heavy stuff, but it will hold up if you keep everything tight. You have a sunshade.